Hey, this is Bug Powder Dust, and this is also episode 21 of our Let's Play Architect series. So in the last episode we had a bunch of prisoners turn up, they'd been transferred from another prison. Most of them are languishing um, in the holding cell, we've managed to cram a few in here, um, but we're currently, um, we weren't ready to open up the cell block here, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, other than that, everything is kind of going right. Um, we've had a punch up at the end of the last episode, in which this guy I think was attacked. He arrived in the prison and he's got an under reputation, so I'm going to be on the safe side and I think I'm going to stick him in protective custody because this guy attacked him. I think this chap as well. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious here and stick him in protective until we know what his reputation is. I'd rather have him in the wrong place than dead. Um, so I'm kind of doing my bit. Uh, so let's see if we can employ one of these traps who's in... No, we can't. Okay. That's fine. Right, let's carry on. So these guys are all just kind of chilling in their cells. They're relaxing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, I've decided that I'm going to make all this just one big common room. I'm going to dismantle... What dangers come from a common room? Is there anything? No. Okay. So I'm going to just basically dismantle that wall completely. And turn it into one big common room. Put another door in down here. Another a couple of doors, sorry. Uh, okay, that'll do. So that will deal with their recreation need. Apparently you can deal with it using uh, radios as well, but um, even though there's a radio in each cell, some people's rec recreation need is kind of high-ish, although most are okay, but it, it won't do any harm to do that. Right, so we've got to, what time is it? It's PM, isn't it? Yeah, so 10.25 PM. Oh, do you want to go across to you? Where are you going? Ah, you're fitting a pipe. Okay, let's lock that open from here. Right, let's speed things up slightly. Now, we're going to do our cell searches, as we always do. Oops, wrong one. Excuse me, I'll cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. Dry throat. Search cell block. So let's get those ones search first. A little bit of guard capacity. Cool, pick up the contraband, that's what we'd like to see. And how is our informants doing. Let's take a look at them as well. Intelligence informants. 34% we used them yesterday. Um, some suspicions quite high. I think what we'll do is we'll grab them once we've done the searches because the cell searches tend to pick most stuff up anyway. It's, it's unbelievable how long these take to do. Especially if they're not near to the actual place where the goods get delivered. It's quite a walk from here up to the top there. There's no easy way for the guards to get there. <laughs> we found another tunnel. Oh yeah. These guys really, really want to dig out, don't they? <laughs> so, what's going on here then? How long are you in here for? An hour 33. Can I cancel his... I can't cast this punishment, can I? Okay. Grubby. He's just sleeping through it. He doesn't care. So how many people we got in here now? That's one. That's two. That's dormitory. So he's going to be sharing it with the new guy. So that's basically four people in protective. And that's kind of capacity at the moment. When our guy comes in from here. Where's he going? Solitary. Oh, he's been found with drugs and stuff. Okay, right, common room's been opened up. Um, so we've got some chairs. We can stick another couple of pool tables in there, I think. What have we got in there? We've got TVs, so another couple of TVs I think probably wouldn't hurt. Put up against the wall. Uh, maybe a bench. Uh, 
and some more chairs, maybe facing this way this time. Okay. And we need to expand the common room as well. So from there to there. There we go, cool. Nice big common room. So that should be taking care of the prisoners' needs, so staying ahead of the curve, hopefully. Now, how the cell search is going, they've all done. So I've done that one and that one, so let's do these guys. Oh, sugar. That's considered one cell block, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be my fault, because I need to segregate that by putting doors in. Uh, put a door there and there, and then... Yeah, that's not ideal, but that's okay. And these guys are fine as well. And then, then I want that will separate it from doing this again, because that's not that's not brilliant. I don't want that to happen. Now, I've got a metal detector here, but not one here. Is that a bit of a hole? I think it is. It would appear to be a hole, wouldn't it? So. I'm going to, hang on a sec, let's cancel that. I'm going to put that door in. Where's the one here going in? Uh, where's it? I can't see it. Is it going across here? Yes, it's there. So I'm going to put the same one there. I'm going to put a metal detector basically mirroring the other side to be there as well. Um, that's got electricity already. Okay, good. Okay, refining how we try and catch all the contraband, slowly but surely. It's <laughs> a lot of contraband. Okay, so these are all slowly but surely being done as well. What's up with this? It needs... Oh, the bunk beds. Yes, of course. Objects. Bunk bed. Cool. Not perfect. It has a privacy problem, but that's all right. Now that wasn't complete. Ah, it's cute to be built. Yeah, great. Okay, good. We're still seven over. Looks like those seven are in the holding cell, or well, maybe not. Hmm. Let's collect up the CCTV. Gonna need a patrol here as well, I think. I uh, wish we haven't got maybe maybe two patrols actually. Um, so we're going to set up a deployment guard patrol. So we're going to have one patrolling around here. Yep, and then one patrolling around here. It, it's it's too big to just have one guy patrolling. I think so. Two makes a lot of sense. How many patrolling over here? Is it just the one again? Oh, are we deployment? Deployment guards, uh, guard patrols. There are no guard patrols up here. What? <laughs> That's really bad. Okay, let's sort that out. And then one up here as well. Can't believe that we have we haven't got guard patrol there. That's outrageous. Okay, now we've got a CCTV up there that looks like it's not necessarily connected to the monitor. Oh, it is. Okay. Four guys in solitary. Wow, okay. Interesting. Let's see if we can uh, hire any of them. Nope, we can't. Okay. Ah, look, we're great. These are, these are finished now, so we've now got enough, just enough for every single prisoner. Now that is sweet. Very, very sweet. Which means I can finish off the cloning. So let's go from there, stretch along. So how far? Oh, hang on. 
go to that chap's toilet, which is up to and including the toilet. So that start from that block and over to the wall where we don't need. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Now, does that take the shower heads as well? I think it probably will. Let's hope so. Okay, so that's all connected up. We don't have the shower block here. Shower blocks, shower heads at the bottom. Let me do that now. Hmm. Okay, we just move it along and the door as well. We need the door. Let's try that again. So that goes to the door, and then from here, along to up and including the other door as well. There you go. Is that piped in? It's not piped in. So let's do that. Okay. And I guess the same... I don't know if that's going to include the shower heads there. Probably not actually. So I'm going to do the same along here. So like that. So that goes to the edge of the wall. Uh, there. Yeah. Okay. I think I've missed one shower head, but we'll see. I just want to make sure this goes in properly. Now, is there a wall being built along here? It doesn't look like there is. How does that work? That goes to there, then that goes to there. Now that goes all the way along, actually. Okay, good. Cool. Almost done. These guys don't really want a shower, by the looks of it. Well, considering we got so many prisoners here, we're actually doing all right. No fights in the showers in the morning. I think that the guard patrols certainly help. I don't think I've actually missed anything now. Let's have a look. Guard patrols in all the cell blocks. One there. Yep. It's all looking pretty sweet. So that's good. Now we've got the new prisoners arriving in half an hour of game time. Now we only have one staff room, which is down here. I'm thinking maybe we should put another staff room up here to save them walking all the way back down the bottom. That is probably a wise idea. Let's have a look at the staff room requirements. A 4x4. Four four. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's basically to there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you could basically do that as a staff room and then. That's that three, four, five. Yeah, that works quite nicely actually. Let's do that. So I'm going to put in a staff room here. I'm going to put a staff door here and also there. And let's do that. That's going to be. Uh, indoors check, room size 4x4, you need a wide sofa and a drinks machine. Uh, objects, sofa, and a drinks machine, so you've got a drinks machine, drinks machine, drinks machine, can't see, drinks machine, there. There we go. Okay. Which means their travel time all the way down at the bottom is going to be cut down seriously, it's going to be back up. Hello. Oh, what has happened here? So the dog, the dog got set loose. Right, so what we got here, and again we've got somebody with unknown reputation has been seriously injured. And he's the only one there with unknown reputation. Oh, he's got one as well. Oh boy, which is the one? I don't know. Got this new guy. Oh, hello. Like you're the one with unknown reputation. You just don't know what it is. You, we just can't find it out. You'd think he'd tell you, wouldn't he? Wouldn't you? I'm going to have to leave this. I can't put them both in protective. I don't know what they are. It's him and him are the two question marks. They're both saying attack prisoner. So I don't know. Hmm. We're going to have to expand...
you know what I've not done? I've actually not, not searched. I've not searched these guys. And I really need to do that. Let's not forget, protect th these guys are no saints. Um, yeah. I might need to add another block. Now, where would I put that? I mean, ideally, we could move the infirmary to somewhere else. Are two beds enough? They are at the moment. Where could I put the infirmary? I could put it in here. That just seems too big. I can make it smaller. I can't subdivide this room. Should we do that? Let's do that. So, let's subdivide it. And... Do you want to staff the one for an infirmary? Yeah, we do. Ideally. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like everyone's eating. Food is not an issue. Everyone's going out of that door and then round to where they're going. Having taken cutlery and stuff. And then they can bring it up here. I think we're missing a trick here. I think we should need to put in... Another CC, uh, not CCTV, metal detector, just there. I'm just so paranoid about these guys. Don't trust them. A little bit. Right. Oh look, see they are, they are getting spiritual. Excellent, so thank you to whoever it was who gave me that suggestion, put them the mats in the yard. That does seem to work really nicely. So that's awesome. Okay. I think it's high time we call in one of our snitches. Cantlo, where are you? What are you doing in there? Are you going through your psychology thing? Behavioural doodah. Okay. We'll come back to you then. That's a, that's a pretty well attended class, isn't it? Okay, now what's going on up here? Early prisoner release. Outstanding. Someone got through parole. It looks like they're, uh, they're on their way out. They're leaving. Well done, sir. Um, okay, where was I now? Electricity, that's what I was doing. Unknown reputation. Yeah. Utilities. We've not set this up, have we? That's it there. Put that up there. There are those two. Right, we also need uh, power as well. So let's run that along there. That's probably going to be enough. Yeah. But these cells are go. Let's have a quick Potential CI. That's very nice. Thank you. I'll take you. Nine percent, dear. And that's it. Oh no, potential CI. Yes, lovely. We'll take you as well. Two percent. Wow. Uh, we still don't know. Is there anything here again? Let's double check. Hmm. We need them to use the phones more, so we can tap them. Alright, let's bring him in. Where's this Sean Canlo dude? Performance. Canlo, Sean. Yes, you sir. Come back in please. Lovely. Come on, here you come. Is that him? Where do you go? No, it's this one, isn't it? No, there he's been brought up. A little bit further to go to the security office, but it's okay. Hopefully it tells about us a re reputation or two. Let's have a quick look. Any reputation's been... Ah, we were right to put him in. We were absolutely 100% right to put this guy in. This was the chap who was in that punch-up, and we put him in just to be sure. Okay, good. I'm glad that works out. I'm concerned about the other guy, though. There's another guy here. Here, this chap. Alright, so at least we know one more person's reputation. Is there anyone else here we need to 
No, there's still lots of question marks. Hmm. Okay, cool. Right, so we're searching lemon and we're searching that cell there. Okay. So, deactivate. That cell there. Searching cell and lemon. It's this chap here, wasn't it? Yep, search. Prisoner and his cell. Cool. Good, good, good. I'm really pleased about having put the right person in, in here. Have to expand this out. I wonder if we can expand into here, maybe. So another dormitory. That makes sense to me. That does, in fact, make sense to me. Let's dismantle that. This is going to be the infirmary, isn't it? So, rooms... The infirmary. It's not a huge amount bigger than the other room, but it's kind of alright. Indoors and medical bed. Yeah. Is that a reform program? Okay, let's not interrupt that then. I am, however, going to put in a door, gel door, on there. Do you have a problem of coming out into a onto a bench? I wouldn't have thought so, but we'll we'll find out. And that as far as I'm concerned can be a brick wall. There's no need for that to be have any access from this side. As for rooms, that could be a dormitory. What does it need? Toilet, bunk bed. Uh, a big long one. I need a toilet. Bunk bed. Maybe a couple. A couple to start with. A couple of toilets. Um, I think... A couple of showers also. Wouldn't hurt. Um, what else you need in there? Radio, TV, chair, that kind of thing. So it's on TV. No, they don't need any of that rubbish. That's good enough. All they got to do is sleep in here. They don't do anything else. Okay, good. Right, so how are we getting on the infirmary? So they're done. Let's dismantle those. And we're going to remove that as being an infirmary. So the docks will have nowhere to go momentarily. Then they'll come over here. Come on. Come on, docks, over here. To your new, your new home. There are a lot of dogs barking. Oh. <laughs> Doing such a good job. Well done, dogs. So, this guy's all eating. Seems to be quite happy. <laughs> a drill, <laughs> really. <laughs> right. Let's get utility set up over here. So there's, so there's two toilets there, and there's a couple of showers in the corner. So. Yep. Cool. Yeah, you can go through, it just slows them down considerably. It's not a ideal layout, is it really? Someone's been done. Oh, hello. Again. Now, it's one of these guys, isn't it? Unknown reputation. Is he the one who's get punched out? Hmm. Oh, no. How long has he been in the jail for? Five hours. I am going to make him protective as well because I don't think... Oh, wow. Oh, this guy again as well. Oh, look, see? Oh, no. Confidential... Hang on, does that mean he's my confidential informant or he's... a... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Intelligence. Let me just, let me just get this cl clear in my own head. So if I click on this guy, hang on, if I hover over him, hang on a minute, this isn't right, is it? Stoical, confidential informant. Okay, so it does say it in yellow, that doesn't mean he's an actual in-game. Right. Whenever you see somebody with under reputation getting smashed up regularly, I'm making him protective as well, because I don't, I don't trust these guys. As I said, I'd rather be wrong. But I don't think I am. Not with these guys. Hopefully they'll move them into here now. 
Oh, hang on a minute. Deployment. Let me need to make that. There we go. Need to expand this. Nope, that's all still good. There's an airlock there stopping them going out. And infirmary, that needs to be shared. And that could be staff only now because we've moved it. These doctors don't want to move, do they? Uh, that's maybe because they haven't. That's not a proper infirmary yet. Uh, that's not wanted. I didn't want infirmary bed. I wanted is it medical bed. It's called medical bed. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Mm, hang on a minute. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll see. That's good enough for now. Got no electricity going to that room. Okay. Sorted. Right. Lying in a pool of their own blood. See, I think, I think, definitely think he's protected. Protected custody. He needs to be protected custody. These guys not being moved, that's because our infirmary isn't up yet. It is now, so these doctors should be moving around. Where have my doctors gone? Uh, doc, where are you, doc? Where are my doctors? <laughs> Let's try and locate them. Uh, hang on a minute. Staff, staff, doctors, where are you? Oh, uh, you've gone around to the outside to heal him. Got it, I understand. Okay, and you? Yep, you're healing that guy in there. Okay, cool, understood. Good stuff. I'm assuming that if you put two beds up here like that, they can still get to them. I'm assuming so. Okay. So, dormitory's up. So we've got plenty of space there. Canteen. As long as there's no more than eight in here, we can f still feed them all. So that's good as well. Right, I think we've we are almost nearing the end of the episode. There's lovely blood everywhere. It just shows to it just shows that we've had good patrols and patrols in the right places. You can actually deal with a lot of this violence before it gets out of hand and people die. Because certainly this guy would have died had I not got to him. Had I not had patrols in the right place, so that that's pretty sweet. Let's see, model prisoner. Apart from the apart from the drug habit. Good. Needs wise, okay, food, that's okay, sleep, that's alright, comfort, yep, that's fine. It's all looking very manageable. So, I'm really quite happy with the progress so far. 152 prisoners and no serious issues, he says. What do they say about pride coming for full? Yeah. I am paranoid. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Did you see that? That is why I'm paranoid about checking it so often. Snitch, ex law enforcement. He's not yellow. You should be. You are now. You need to get moved, buddy. That is why I have phone taps and God knows what else running. Because we've got to try and get these people before they get killed. Cool. So how many have you got now? One, two, three, four, five, and now six. So you. Sir, need to be moved. Let me get a member of staff into this chat before he gets killed. Now it says it's called Prisoner Dormitory, so I'm hoping it's the dormitory down here. Oh, it's looking good. Yes, it's looking good. Standing. So I'm just hoping that I've got the right guy here. We'll see. It won't do him any harm being down here anyway. So it looks like we've managed to save three people potentially from dying this episode. So that's actually quite nice. It's working. The system is working. Good. Well, on that positive note, I think we'll end. That's uh, that's pretty sweet. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or if you'd like, just like to leave a like, please do. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers. Bye.